Uh oh. The same one was uploaded twice. Oops, I did not mean to yeah that. Wario and Meta Knight. Well, of course it was Wario and Meta Knight. Oh wait, they're different, okay. So I don't know which game is first. I'm gonna look at the replays channel in Discord to see which one's which. So CS goes first, I think, according to I Like Pie. But do you know that that's the right order? I guess it doesn't really matter what the order is. But if I had to guess, I think that this is the first one and then this is the second one because most people don't think to upload them in reverse order. I know that I like Pyre uploaded it in reverse order because, you know, that I know that's what I prefer, but since I didn't give instructions, I'm going to assume that this is the first one, this is the second one. Date, 8.34. 36, yeah, that's the time that it was uploaded, not the date that it, or the time that it was recorded. And then Dragon vs. Ray King, or these two. Now I'm assuming that this is also in reverse order. We're gonna go with that. The four minute one is second? Oh, that's surprising. But I'm glad that you uploaded in reverse order. Alright, now to see what order we need to actually watch these in. So, uh, this is taking quite a while. Alright, so Poppy Pawn versus Ready After Spider Boy is. Oh, I'm on number 12. Let me go back to 13. That is Losers Round 2 and set number 12. Okay. Pi versus Hanazaro is number 6, so that one probably goes first. And then Dragon versus Ray King is number 8. So we need to watch I Like Pi is set first, followed by Dragons, followed by RSBs. So it's the date of the tournament. We just finished Grand Finals. We're going through the replays now. This here is winner's round two. We got I Like Pi versus Am Lazaro, AKA Poppy Juan. Am Lazaro has been wanting to join one of these tournaments uh, before the end of the summer. And this is a good one to join. We got a lot of attendees for this one. I think we had 12 or 11. A very impressive uh, final stream tournament. I would like to think that the next weeks where I'm not going to be uh, streaming it would still also be fine, but it's probably going to be low in attendance. I actually do like the landing on the platform to get your jumps back because you don't want to be recovering against uh, a DDD. I think it's also worth noting that uh, Amazar is probably most known in the YouTube stream world for playing random uh, everywhere. Uh, apparently they spent, starting today, they started picking up like Wario and learning combos and whatnot. And this is their 30 minute Wario, according to them, even though this, I think that they have every character in Elite Smash, as they've told me, I think. Gordo bad. Oh, you gotta do that a little earlier. I actually really like the, the Wario versus uh, DDD matchup. Like, they both kill each other so well. was interesting. I would have just yielded it and then probably up smashed, but rolling out of the way is a bit safer. You don't uh, have to worry about getting um, 
shield poked. <laughs> Generally, Wario is going to get by on his ridiculous air mobility. DDD has one of the worst air mobilities in the game. Wario has one of the best. So you can just kind of like weave in with neutral air especially. And like, Gordo loses to forward air and like uh, early nair. But if you don't really know the combos, it can be kind of difficult because you're just like basically getting stray hits with your neutral air, which do like 9%, uh, something like that. And DDD's hitting you with back air for like 14. And DDD's way heavier than uh, Wario. Okay, I was gonna say like, I wonder what the best option there is, but he was only at 50, so probably down tilt dash attack would have been good because it would have done a lot of damage and also knocked him off stage. All my viewers actually uploaded everything in the proper order, which is reverse order, which is very good. So we get to just like sit here and watch. Game two. Swapped to uh, Steve from the DDD. Maybe because of the uh, final destination pick. Okay, I mean, I like it. Apparently, during the stage selection, uh, Ann Lazaro learned or discovered down tilt. It is a really good move. I, I like it. I would use it probably even more than and Lazaro is. And my favorite move, Chomp. I literally played Wario for like, uh, maybe, I want to say like a whole month, basically just because of uh, Chomp. You could have actually drifted out of that because Wario is incredible. Very nice. I like the, the weaving in and out. That's kind of the the trick to, to beating Steve. You gotta like stay far enough away that you can react to minecart. Dash attack would have killed. Uh, while also. Uh, forcing Steve to actually like do some sort of commitment. Like, are they going to roll? Are they going to grab? Are they going to dash attack? Are they going to jump in minecart? Are they going to just regular minecart? Are they going to go and shield? But as long as you're far enough away, you can kind of just choose the option. And it's very difficult to force uh, Steve to do like something by just standing still. So you gotta like use your movement to kind of force an error, basically. Keeps uh, running into... Oh, that should be death. Dash attack would kill. You can also probably would have been able to... Uh, Pivot up smash as well. I feel like by now you could have gotten a second diamond. That's actually interesting. I wonder if that's a very specific setup. Like, the block in that particular position looked like it stopped Wario from being able to uh, DI onto the stage after the ledge trump. Yeah, 
There we go. I punish on the up smash. Randy forward smash? No, not quite. Doesn't apparently have enough materials for down air. I think he just got some. I knew that he was going to bike, I didn't know when. Like, I thought it would have been sooner. Oh, that was like kinda nice. I like that. You so a lot of people would say like, oh you know, he wasted the waft, you should have saved it for final stock. But I like it in that position because you actually got rid of the diamond. Uh oh, okay. Mario has good air drift, so In that scenario, you pretty much always want to jump because he's not going to hit you. Like, he can't angle his forward smash upwards or anything like that. So you just jump over, and then, like, he's either going to keep on charging it, and then you get a free back air, or he's going to release it early, in which case you do a down air. But I like Pi takes it 2 0 over Anne Lazaro. Good games to both. I did not call you Chomper. I was naming Wario's uh, neutral B. Need to wait a little bit longer for the highlight. I pressed the highlight button too soon. 